guys welcome to another video in this video i'm going to be showing you how to use this thing called streamer.bot and it is compatible for all of these so uh, obs and streamlabs and it's also used for uh, youtube and kit and what this does guys you can automate scenes you can automate stuff and chat can control it all so it's a very good for engagement um, it's mainly used on Twitch. It is integrated into YouTube, and I'm guessing they are going to be integrating it to many more platforms soon. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to show you how to download it, how to set it up, and the things I've got set up at the moment, and show you how I can do it, and show you what else it can be integrated with. So guys, let's get straight into this video. So guys, this is streamer.bot, and what you what you can download it from the site here. I will put the description in the link below. Streamer.bot. What you can do is download it. You can download this multiple times. You can have multiple different streamer bots. Say if you've got two different platforms you stream on, you want two different things. You can have them two two things run differently. Um, if you've got two different channels, you can have a channel for your main one and channel for your second channel as well. So you can have this multiple times. It's quick and easy to download. Just press download and drag and drop. So I'll show you what I mean now. Just gonna drag drag it in. Um, once this is done, then you're gonna open this file. And all you've got to do is all these files. Just give it me two seconds. All you've got to do, all these files, you've got to copy and paste them into um, a, a, a file. So bear with me, I'll show you my one now. So as you can see here, i got streamer bot here. And all my files are integrated in here. And this is where you can save um, the, the bot to, anywhere on your files. To you create a shortcut, all you do is right click drag and drop and create a shortcut back here all right so that's how you do it guys um and that's how you set up the bot quite simple and quite easy so now i'm going to show you inside the bot itself so let's get straight into it so guys this is streamer bot and from the outlook it looks quite scary and quite intimidating but it's really simple to use when you know what you're going to do so as you can see here on the bottom right you can see what you're connected to i am connected to youtube and OBS. I stream on YouTube, that's why this is right here. Um, first of all, I'm going to show you how to connect your platform up. It's quite simple, really. Go to the platform set tab here. If you want to click, click on Twitch, go to account and you log in here. You can also log in and add a bot service as well. This can help um, integrate your bot to automatically do stuff for you in your stream. This is very unique just to Twitch at the moment. Uh, again, the same thing for YouTube. Just go in auto sign in with your Google account and good to go. I'm not going to show you how to do it because mine's already connected. Also, I don't want you to see my details. So guys, the next step then is to obviously add your OBS. Uh, the best way to add your OBS is via the stream app here and going through um, the automatic website. So you just press add for here. Um, if you're on the old version, you would go to 4.9 and this, you know it's the old version because the port would be 4.4.4.4.4.4. I'm currently on the newer version where the port is 4455. So what you do then, you find this if you go to your OBS here. I'm going to go Tools, OBS WebSocket Settings, blah, 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 blah. And this is it over here. You want to connect, auto connect, apply, and make sure this all these settings are good. And all you're going to do is just press auto connect. Uh, when that's auto connect, then you can name it, you can find it, and that's it. It's so so simple to do. It's really not that hard to complete. Um, same Streamlabs. Um, I don't run Streamlabs, so I'm not 100 percent sure how it works, but it's a very similar process. So once that's all done, it may require you to restart. Mine did. Some people didn't, so I don't know really what 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 happened there. What you want to do then? You want to click actions, and this is where you will set your actions for each individual certain thing you want to happen. Um, so I got, I'm going to show you three different ones for the three different things that I've got set up. All right. So let's go into it and show you how to do it. So first of all, this OBS, um, this OBS scene will show you, um, a confetti scene. So it'll automatically, um, play an OBS, um, media source. So to do this, let's go add. And then go down to uh, go down to OBS, go to sources, and then you can pick a variety of sources of what you want it to do. Whether you want it to rotate the source, flip the source, media status, play the source, anything like that. 
So this one's a me media play center. So I'm just playing the status of it and then hiding it after. And the best way to test these, you can actually just test them straight in. This won't actually be actioned by anyone or anything until later on, which I'll show you how to action things in just a second. So I just wanted to show you that you can activate a different individual source, which is fine. That's easy to do. Next thing, then you've got a camera spin. So these sources are a little bit more in depth, um, a little bit harder to do uh, because you require a chain of events to happen first. OK, so what I've done. I've automatically set my OBS uh, source to rotate. So I'm going to be rotating the camera in this one. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set it to rotate 180 degrees. And then added a delay for four seconds. And then I've asked it to rotate the camera again back to its original position. And to do this, so the actions, um, so you want to go down to OBS again, sources, and it's rotate source. Very simple thing to do. Um, make sure your alignment is changed inside OBS. So you have to do that by right-clicking alignment, and then you change the alignment. And make sure that's centered to the screen, because otherwise it's going to go top left, um, and it'll start looking a bit weird. So mine's all center. You can't change this in the app. You have to change that on your OBS, because it pulls it straight away from OBS. Once you set it to uh, center, and then move the camera to your correct position, it will rotate in the in the the same position and it won't move to the top left, top right, bottom left. Okay, so you need to change that within OBS. So to change something, uh, to change the alliance or the transformation, whatever you want to call it, within OBS to center, what you want to do is right click. Uh, you want to go to transform, edit transform, and this is where you can change up here. So at the moment, this is top left. You change this to the center, it will move it to the center. And then what you do then, you replace it back again. Okay, so that's how you do that. Um, again, it won't show on here 100% because at the moment I'm using it on a different OBS. That's how you change that. Okay, so it's a very simple thing to do. That's all you got to do, and then move it back to the correct position you would want it, and then it will just um, spin in this axis then on its cell. So add a delay. You want to go right click again. You want to go uh, core, and you want to click delay. Okay, so all these delays. Um, it depends how many seconds you want. So you can have four thousand is four seconds. This is in milliseconds, I believe. Um, you can also set it to a random amount as well. And then after that, then I've set the camera, which is the the scene. So I've selected the scene. So these are all my scenes. And then I've selected a source, which is individual. My source is all done within a certain um group because I like my camera and my alerts and everything to be around the camera. So it's all set into one place, um, so it all stays nice and neat together. And then you obviously want to set how many degrees you want to set it and go. And then this is how you test it, so it'll look something like this. Before I test it, I just want to say the one thing. The way I test things, there's a little um, voice control tab by here, okay? It's not great, I'm not going to lie to you, okay? Um, I use it for my sub alert, so when I say thanks, it should automatically play confetti and stuff like that but because of my accent is a bit strong um they it doesn't normally pick up words so what i do i just set the num uh, set it to this word okay and then within this action then i can set up um what i want it to play and how i want it to play okay so i set it to the, that word what you want to make sure before you do it make sure you've got your um your Correct microphone plugged in. Make sure this is on listen instead of stop listen. And then you can see, there you go, that's all the dialogue is picked up so far. So if you press stop, it won't pick up no dialogue as you can hear. It's not picking up anything at the moment. If you press start, now it'll start picking up all what it thinks I am saying. So I've set the, 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 um, the keyword as one. It might not pick it up. It might pick it up. We'll see now. So let's give it a go. One. So as you can see, it's rotated the camera up here now. After four seconds, it'll rotate it back. Okay, so that's how I know the command is working correctly, okay? So you can keep that if you want to. 
my advice you I wouldn't personally because if you are just talking and you happen to say the word stuff will happen on your screen um and stuff like that so my advice would be to use it via commands in your chat okay and I'll show you how to set them up in just a second I just want to show you one more thing okay so it's a couple of different ones I've set up here okay my favorite one's the rage one okay and I'll show you what it looks like in just a second but as you can see it's a little bit more complicated so what I'm doing here um I am currently get my current scene okay so I'll get the current scene I am on which is this this is this one so I want it always to start on this okay I want it then to change to my rage screen which is a scene not a source it's a scene so it's a whole new scene within um my within my OBS okay I want it to change to that I want it to last for four seconds and then I want to change it back to my current scene okay so that's how I want so when you set this up um you would have to use this very particular formula but here because it doesn't like you using get, get current scene so you would set it up as an OBS active scene and then you would put in um the percentage sign current scene percentage sign and that then would automatically recognize oh, okay and you go back to that current scene okay so again you do all this via the OBS scenes and then get current scene okay so that you go all the way through here uh, get current scenes by there that's how you add that set active scene is by here and this is where then you can add the percentage percentage this is where you can add the percentage which is there you go percentage and then you type in current scene percentage okay and that's how you do that again this delays the same thing and again this can all be sorted this can all be tested again all in one right here when you just select rage but yeah so this is all the set scenes okay you can set that just select there press ok and when hopefully you say one it will change the scene and this is like how it goes that's how that works that's how uh, that's how i like it um so that's how you test it okay so that's a very good way of testing things now to let your chat control this what you want to do is go to a section called commands okay once you're here you can right click add and what you want to do you can see all the list of users that pop into your stream select the ones you want to so you have to allow people to do it you can add allow groups of people to do it it depends on if you set up groups or not you can set up groups via here i don't really set up groups because it's not my type of thing um so you can allow all these people to have permissions in the chat okay you want to select what type of chat it is so obviously i'm on youtube so it's a youtube message on twitch you can have it for a reserve a whisper whatever it is um hot whisper subscription message or a um, twitch chat as well what you want to firstly do is change the location to either the start exactly or anywhere. So anywhere would be anywhere within this particular sentence. Exact would be the exact word, and that's it. So if I'm saying one, I can't say, oh, like this one, okay, because it wouldn't pick it up. At the start, it would just be at the start of the word. So I always use exact. And again, for this then, um, we we can type in um because it's a rage scene we can type in rage if you want to set up the confetti we could have um um w big w in chat and then to set different variations we can have a, a capital w and then we can have a lowercase w okay so this is a variation so they have to be on separate lines going down okay they can't be next to each other because then it'll be w w you're looking for so it's W and then W. And then you want to select the action type. So when you go here, you want to um, select the action type of whatever it is. And then you can set the, the type of thing. So we're going to set, for instance, when we type in W, um, camera spins. In fact, we're going to change this now to spin. With a capital S, and then we're going to do one with a lowercase. OK, so we're going to change that to spin. And then everybody with the, all these permissions can use it. Okay, so you can set it to uh, specific moderators to use it. You can set it to specific users you trust or VIPs. 
Um, and that's how you can do it. You can set a global co a cooldown. I normally send mine to 10 seconds just to stop the spamming. And then once you've done that, then you're just going to press OK. And as you can see here, um, this is um, how you use it. I do use it uh, anywhere with some of these. So I don't always use exact. That's a lie I just told you for this. We can change it to anywhere. All right. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to set up a, a private YouTube live for you. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like when I type in chat. So here we go, guys. I have set a private. Um, I have set a private. Um, YouTube stream up. I'm going to pop my chat out. Um, ah, oh, I can't do that. So for some reason, don't know why. Um, so there we go. So I have to use it down the bottom right here, as you can see. So I'll zoom into the bottom in just a second for you. And what we're going to type in is spin. Hopefully. If we set it up correctly, when I type in that, my camera should spin around, as you can see it has. It'll wait for four seconds, and then it'll spin it back. So this is all different ones. We can type the rage in there, and this will do the exact same thing. It'll play the rage scene, as you can see over here. It's a very good tool to use, okay? So I do really, really recommend using it, and why not? It's free to use, and you can get some really good interactions on your streams. So guys, I'm going to go back to the app and I'm going to show you one or two other little things what you can do as well. And you can get more and more advanced with this. Again, I'm new to this. So if any of you know more about this, please let me know. Or if you want any further questions, uh, let me know because um, this may be, you may be seeing this further in advance and I can give you some more information on this to help you. So let's go straight back to the stream.bot set software. So there's a couple of good things about this. The bit what I like personally is that you can see all uh, users that are live in your chat. Obviously, they're all hidden at the moment because none of them are live. You can click on all these names and you can see them and you can see how long they stayed in for, what they did, how many donations they sent, etc. etc. So you can see all that type of thing, who's in your chat, how long they're in for, etc. etc. Which I think is really good, really nice bit of information for everybody to use. So another good thing about this as well, when you go to Twitch, go general, and then you can find um, end of the events tab. You're going to have followers. Um, so every time you have a new follower, you can set an event to happen via the exact same thing, whether it's a spinning camera, whatever it is, um, whatever you want, and you can do that as well. So all these you can set. Uh, so if it's a different chat message, if it's a present viewers, how many of them live update every five minutes, etc., etc. You can run ads and stuff like that, all announcements, and everything. You can do anything you want from this, and you can make it look all automated, very professional, very clean. You can also set it, so cheers, subs, resub, gifted subs, it's, it's basically, it's like Streamlabs in a weird way, where you can actually set different tasks up so you can play different media sources, and you can have your alerts going through live without using browser sources if you didn't want to, um, so it's a bit more cleaner and a bit more you're in control um, with browser sources, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, um, you never know one of the softwares could go down and you won't be able to do it. Hype train, community goals, charity goals, whatever it is on here. You can change your stream information on here as well. You can do apps, do everything. You can do channel point rewards, okay? So you can right click and add whatever you want here um, and stuff like that. You can do polls here. So you can do a poll, um, see when it's created, updated, whatever, predictions, and obviously your account, okay? With YouTube, it's not as much, unfortunately. It's just quite new to the integration. So you've got your events, so you've got certain chat messages, sponsorships, present viewers, etc. Um, memberships, you can do that if you've got memberships active. Super events or super chats, depending on what you want to call them. Uh, broadcast events, so broadcast start and end and update and blah, 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 blah. Statistics on the update as well. And you can also change your stream information. This is very good, especially when you're live. Um, without having all the tabs trying to find it, it's really bot up, you, which you will need. You will need the bot up and active in the background if you want this stuff to work. Okay, chat, just want you to. You can also integrate many different other applications. So Streamlabs with the donations, if your donations go straight to there, or purchase merch through them. Stream elements are the exact same thing. Voice mods, you can have auto connect on there, and you can connect your voice mods. So um, it can automatically pick up certain things. Uh, donor drive, don't know what that is. All this sort of stuff, I don't really know much too much about it. Lumia streams, so that's the stuff that can change lights and stuff. Very advanced feature. Very, very good application. Definitely should go and check that out. 
you can link that in with you so you chat can change your lights um your lights with certain commands and stuff via streamer bot okay um you can also add stream deck if you would want to um you can i don't really know what you could do with it personally i don't use it um, i have a stream deck but i use the stream deck separate to this so i don't really know too much about that and it's the same you can uh you can have um direct donors come straight through the stream report website subscriptions resubs shop purchases whatever commission anything um via your patreon shopify anything so you can connect it all up through here and you can have specific unique uh donation tabs come straight through to um your stream for your users especially when they've spent their hard-earned money um so it's nice personal touches you can add it's very, very good. There's a lot to do with this. I've only touched probably about 2% of it in today's video. There's so much you can do with it. So much more advanced features you can do. So, guys, go and check it out. Make sure you drop a like and a follow for me on the video. And, guys, any comments, um, anything you need help with or anything you want to let me know you can do, which I don't really know, drop a message um, in the comments and I will will reply 100%. Don't you worry about that. So, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Much love. Peace.